Have you ever noticed that when you smell chlorine, you remember the day when you went to the pool for the first time as a child? And when you smell glue, you remember your days when you had the craft lessons in your kindergarten. So this is a well-known phenomena called odor evoked autobiographical memory, which means in English that the smell induces your past personal experiences and memories, especially during childhood. But wait! I had COVID-19 and I lost my smell and I cannot access any of that now. And somebody else will say, since contracting COVID-19, I have parosmia and my sense of smell is disturbed and everything to me smells like garbage or rotten food and I'm very depressed because of that. Well, yes, there is a new pandemic of smell loss and distortion in memory and that is affecting mental health in many people. So let's talk today about how the smell and the emotion memory is connected and how COVID-19 is missing with that system. All senses such as touch, hearing, balance and so on, they will all go to the thalamus. So this is the brain and the thalamus is a deep structure inside the brain and this is a relay station and a hub for the senses to go all to the cortex which is the brain area that is responsible for processing of the memory and smell is a unique sense that does not go through the thalamus and it goes instead to the limbic system so the information from the olfactory bulb here in the in the nose it will go directly to the limbic system which is a system that is responsible for emotion and memory uh, processing especially the amygdala and hippocampus they are named after their uh, shape of like an almond and a seahorse and they are responsible for processing of emotions that is why smell can evoke and store emotional memories which explains why you eat a cookie and then you feel happy because you remember the first time you made cookies with your mom when you were a child so smell is very important in human behavior and it can change what we do and how we behave that is why casinos they will spray certain scents that makes you less aware of risk taking and you gamble more there is a multi-billion dollar industry of the scent and smell that is why pampers and johnson and johnson they're trying to put themselves between you and your child by conditioning their scents and products with the connection between the parents and their children because the children smell like these products. And Fabrice and Downey, they're trying to dominate this market by connecting their products and themselves with cleanliness and happiness. It is mind-blowing when you think about it. Also, the ancient Romans, they understood this 2000 years ago before and they used to spray scent that is pleasant in the Colosseum when there was fighting so that people will have a pleasant experience rather than focusing on the smell of death and fighting. And now COVID-19 came to the game. About half of the people who contracted COVID-19, they lost their sense of smell and many of them, they had the smell loss up to even six months and beyond. And let alone the parosmia, which is distortion of the smell when everyone is smelling rotten food, garbage-like, and very unpleasant smells. And this is creating a new pandemic of emotional memory processing issues that you will not be able to access those remote memories and experiences that lots of times shapes who you are and even makes you have decisions or not. I wrote an article about how the smell controls emotion and memory and the neuroscience of smell and COVID-19 links and I will put those links in the description below for you to review. Studies have found that people with olfactory dysfunction, they have more depression and mental health issues than other controls. And this is what happens when you deprive the brain from an essential emotional experiences and smell, and let alone and even worse, that you are having constant negative emotional experiences with the parosmia and the bad smell that you're having, that will create a constant stress on the brain and that will bring up lots of mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, and even PTSD, which have never been seen before. So if you are having 
Loss of smell and parosmia and you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or mental health issues, please see your doctor and seek medical attention because you're having physical and biological changes in the chemistry of the brain that makes you feel this way. And it has been shown that controlling depression and anxiety will help the recovery of the smell loss and parosmia. And I did make multiple videos about parosmia and loss of smell and how you can treat them. I will link them up in the cards and put them down in the description below. This is a new and large scale phenomena that needs to be studied and explored more. So I urge my neuroscientist colleagues to study this issue more and in depth so that we know how to deal with it in the future and how those experiences will shape our future experiences. So you have a new project, Dr. Herzala, a great neuroscientist, by the way. And to learn more about how you can treat your parasmia and smell loss and other neurological complications of COVID-19, please see those videos and see you in the next one.